everyone, Stephen Kesting from GrappleArts.com. Today, my new favorite guard pass. I've been working this for a couple of months and I want to share it with you. So, I'm going to show you the pass real quick and I'm going to go into how to set it up because that's just as important as doing the pass. So, your opponent's there in butterfly guard. I'm going to grab his knee with one hand, I'm going to grab his lapel with the other. Then, simultaneously, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to punch, I'm going to pull with my hand, and I'm going to back kick with my leg. It's like a kung fu movie where you're punching, knocking somebody out in front, and knocking somebody out in back. So one, two, three. There. Now, I'm going to use those hands and pull myself in nice and tight because there's a big distance. So Richie, if you could come here please. Same pass, different angle. One hand on the lapel, one hand on the knee. Simultaneously punch, pull, and kick. Punch, pull, kick. One, two, three. There. Then I'm going to pull myself in, bring my knees up nice and tight to his body. So what makes this pass work? Fundamentally, the hand here and the hand here allow me to turn Richie. So if I'm way back here, I can turn him like a top. The trouble is, if he's in butterfly guard, he's going to be hooking with the leg here. That's why I need to back kick. So I'm simultaneously going to back kick and that takes my leg away. Now there's nothing for his foot to catch on and I stuff him. From now I use my anchors on him and pull in. Now, I know what you're saying, yeah, 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 that's easy, yeah, that looks easy, but it's not so easy. You just don't understand, Stefan, you just don't understand. It's not the first time in my life that I've heard that. So, the trick here is you got to get the knee and the lapel. Once you have this, and so long as his feet aren't on your hips, in which case you go to a different pass, you can do the pass. But if you do this, he knows it's coming. He's going to react. He's going to put his foot on your hip. He's going to strip grips. He's going to switch to a different kind of guard. And life just got hard again. So what I do is I very gently take a knee. I don't take it and try and move him around. I don't want to get him worried. I don't want him to start stripping this grip. I'm just going to very casually, non-threateningly grab the, the knee here. And we're going to be pretending like we're doing something else. Like I'm trying to get this grip. Like I'm trying to get the second knee grip. So he's going to be grip fighting. The only thing I'm waiting for is my opportunity to pounce on the lapel. So if I've got the knee, I distract him, I might be controlling his wrist here. As soon as I get the lapel, I go. Or, alternately, I grab the lapel very, very loosely. Here. Again, I'm not pushing him, I'm not pulling him, I'm not trying to set up some kind of collar choke. I just grab it, maybe not even very uh, solidly. I don't want to give it away. We're here. Now with this hand, I might be going for something else. I might be trying to pull his head down. I might be grabbing his wrist and he's trying to get rid of the grab there. And as we're grip fighting, when I see my opportunity to go here, that's when I move. So we might be here, he rips his hand free. There. I was just waiting for the opportunity to get to that knee. I call that the push-pull kick pass or the kung fu pass. Because who hasn't wanted to come up and simultaneously knock out two people, one in front of you, one behind you. So if you practice this guard pass long enough, I promise that your defense against multiple attackers will also vastly improve. You know, part of the reason I make these YouTube videos is because I learn stuff too. As I was sitting here editing it for you, and yes, I do my own editing, I realized that the punch-pull-kick pass or the kung fu pass is actually very, very similar to what some people call the X-pass and what Emily Kwok called the standing step pass in the volume two of the How to Defeat the Bigger, Stronger Opponent uh, instructional set that we did together. So let me show you. It's that same idea with the grip breaking. I'm moving in two different directions, so I'm creating more momentum and more force. I want to apply about 60% pressure into my hand, 40% into my foot, and from here I'm going to weigh down. I've removed one post, and I'm going to come to me on belly, and then cross side I pass. If you like this, subscribe to the channel or click below to sign up for my jujitsu emails. I send out some of my very best jiu-jitsu training tips by email and you can get them all for free.